written by John Lennon in India in 1968, and he learned the very intricate finger-picking style from Scottish singer-songwriter Donovan. He would go on to use it on a number of songs, many of which would appear on the fantastic White Album. McCartney originally wrote this next song for something silly to play at a party to impress girls. And it wasn't until much later that John Lennon suggested he do a proper version of the song for their album Rubber Soul. In 1964, during their tour in the United States, the Beatles met up with Bob Dylan. And it was on this occasion, supposedly, they were introduced to marijuana for the first time. And you can hear Bob Dylan's influence on the next song, taken from the album Help, written by John Lennon. Here I stand, head in hand, tell my face the wall. If she's gone, I can go feeling two foot small. song again from the White Album. I love the White Album. And it's written by Paul McCartney. He uses a very distinctive finger-picking technique he likes to use quite often. And even John Mayer uses the same technique in songs like Who Says and Heart of Life. We have one of the more difficult Beatles songs you could play on your acoustic guitar. Written by George Harrison in the spring of 1969, it was the opening track of the B-side of Abbey Road.
is probably the most successful song that Paul McCartney has ever written. And funny enough, he wrote it in his sleep. Didn't have any lyrics for the song except the line, Scrambled eggs, baby how I love your legs. Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though version of the next song features a superb solo by Eric Clapton, but the demo version is a thing of beauty in itself. Written by George Harrison, the inspiration for the song came from the I Ching, an ancient Chinese spiritual text. compared to the album version, isn't it? Now on number two we have a song, again influenced by Bob Dylan, written by John Lennon, taken from the album Rubber Soul. I once had a girl, or should I say she once had me? She showed me her room, is it good, no She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair I sat on a rug, biding my time, drinking the wine We talked until two, and then she said, it's time for bed And there we are, the number one Beatles song, of course it has to be, you've guessed it by now Blackbird, another prime example of his great finger picking technique. Now you can play it in lots of different ways, and I like to play it somewhat different than Sir Paul does.
Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.